spam email it seems to be getting worse there are several ways you can manage that at the server level we use spam assassin which arrests it um, but there's a lot that can be done through email filtering and basically you can do that yourself all you need to do is to log into your webmail account that is if your cPanel provides that so it's webmail, your email address, your email password, the URL to log into will be your web address forward slash webmail and you simply log in and this is how we manage our emails now you can read your emails through those three portals what we're going to focus on today is actually email filtering I will do other video tutorials on tracing emails uh, box trapper now box trapper is another way to control uh, spam email it's a little radical in that when an account that has box trapper enabled receives an email box trapper automatically sends a verification email in response now the sender then must complete the verification process before the email can pass through to your inbox so it is a little radical your email settings are in there autoresponder messages you can set and control yourself you can also manage forwarding options and update and change your password yourself so as I said today we're going to focus on email filtering so I'm Peter Butler from Smarter Websites let's have a quick look now I've already created some keyword filters now to create a new keyword filter you simply click on that but what I've done over here is I've given those keyword filters a name so one based around keywords now I'll just open that up so you can see that I've already added one that I was getting hello mr. dependable in the body uh, so we blocked those uh, dr. Roz in the subject line and also Dr. Rolls in the body of the email how he ranks the site on Google and how he builds was another one I was getting slammed with so you can simply and the action that occurs with that email is well we want it to be discarded you can have these other settings if you so choose so to add another fi uh, filter you simply click on the plus sign set the parameter whether it's a subject line issue, whether it's a to um, a particular email address, I know some clients are going to massively uh, benefit uh, from this. Now I'm getting one that is from uh, a Sam. Uh, it's actually doing my heading. Um, so the subject line has Sam, and that's it. Basically, it's contains and save. And effectively I've just now added another keyword to my email filtering now if we just go back you'll see that there's, I also have blocked email addresses right so specific email addresses that were you know spamming me so I've been able to set that up as a filter so you can add as many filters as, if, as you like so I'm hoping that helps you so if you've got a problem with uh, spam and you're one of our clients let us know first step is we'll set up spam assassin that'll arrest at least half of them um, and then we can start to set up email filters we can also reset the spam assassin level um, so that we increase the level the higher the level the more risk you have of actually blocking out legitimate emails so that's always a risk but uh, very low risk you can then go on to create other filters yourself you know it's called rule three you can rename that to be uh, you know whatever it is that you're having issues with so i hope this uh, video helps and let's get a handle on our spam so we're more efficient and more effective in our businesses so that's peter butler smarter websites hope that helps